Hello, bearded bee and astronomy people. Welcome back to B and K Bees. Um, and it's going to stay that, B and K Bees. I was thinking about changing it to B and K Bees in science or bees in astronomy or something like that, but I'm just going to stick with B and K Bees and I'm not going to make another YouTube channel. I will start another playlist for these types of videos so that you know, uh, you know, what's, uh, what's bee content and what's astronomy and science content, and this is the latter. Tonight I did another go at Pleiades. Uh, tonight is different in the sense that I'm auto-guiding, uh, which means that there's a second telescope up above my imaging scope, and that is uh, connected to a camera, that is connected to my computer, that has some software to very precisely eye a particular star and watch its movement and correct the mount when it moves. So if the star drifts off, the guide software and camera send a correction to the mount to make it go back to where it was in the center. And uh, that will hopefully, and it has been over the course of the night, uh, producing nice round stars over the course of five minute subs. Now that is a single, you know, five minutes of open exposed uh, shutter. So, um, you know, if any movement happens or any extraneous light comes in, that will be on that sub. So if a plane goes through, ruins a five minute sub. Um, so the tracking has to be very precise and that's why I'm doing auto guiding. So I did uh, the Pleiades for a couple hours, I think. I will probably correct that hopefully in some text on the screen uh, when I calculate that up tomorrow when I'm processing these photos and now uh, the Pleiades got you know to the part of the sky where it's being uh, tough to continue tracking uh, based on where my telescope is so I've panned over to a couple of galaxies uh, called Bodhi's Nebula uh, it's called a nebula or the, the name is Bodhi's Nebula but it is in fact a galaxy and the Cigar Galaxy uh, I don't know a whole lot about them, to be honest. I know Bodhi's Nebula is about 12 million light years away. It's pretty tiny. It's in the northern part of the sky. It's actually right off the tip of the Big Dipper, as if the Dipper was full of galaxies, and the first two to fall out were Bodhi's Nebula and uh, the Cigar Galaxy. So I am tracking that uh, at ISO 400 for five minute exposures. I set it to 18 of them. Um, so that's what, two hours. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll get a good image. Nice crisp stars, you know, nice round small stars and some decent uh, detail in those galaxies. Uh, hopefully I'll also be able to talk a little bit about the equipment that I'm using uh, while I'm tearing this stuff down and I can have some light on. Uh, I'm kind of standing away from my equipment right now with this flash on. So, yeah, I will uh, check you when I'm tearing down the equipment and can have some light over there. Okay, I'm not quite done taking exposures yet, but the, <laughs> the ones that I have so far look really, really, really good. Uh, and I found out a little bit more. I educated myself a little bit more on the objects that I'm imaging, and I wanted to say... The Cigar Galaxy, the skinny one in the image, is really unique in the sense that it's a starburst galaxy. And it's the closest starburst galaxy to the Milky Way, so it's kind of the prototypical uh, example. And what that means is that it's had so much interaction with Bodhi's Nebula, the nearby galaxy, the other galaxy in the image, that the material that it's interacting with uh, has created this large swath uh, kind of going at a 90 degree angle from the rest of the galaxy. So hopefully my image shows that a little bit. If not, I will uh, I'll kind of dub in some Hubble uh, evidence for you because when in doubt, you know, check Hubble. But I thought you might think that was cool. Okay, so this is the setup. Um, I have an 80 millimeter refractor there, 
and on the top is my guide scope. The, the refractor is an Explore Scientific Essential Series uh, ED80. It's a triplet aprochromatic refractor. And then up here is my guide scope, a 50 millimeter William Optics guide scope. Attached to that is an Orion Star Shoot Auto Guider. And that's connected to the scope. And that's what I was talking about earlier, or to the uh, mount, sorry. And that's what I was talking about earlier. A special program on that computer down there uh, was watching a particular star very closely uh, through that scope and making sure that it stayed centered. And when it didn't, when it, when it drifted off into one direction or the other, it would send a correction to the mount just in time to keep the stars in the overall image uh, nice and round. So hopefully I'll have a really nice image to show you. Um, I should because that is Bodhi's Nebula in full zoom. I can zoom out here and open this up. There are the two. So hopefully I've got something much greater than that to show you. But this is a single uh, five minute subframe. And what you see there is the camera taking dark frames, which are a way to figure out the camera's, uh, the inherent noise in the camera, the camera, the noise in the camera that is always there. So uh, if you put the lens cap on the camera in the same uh, temperature, ISO, and exposure setting as you're taking your light frames, um, you take a bunch of dark frames. And what should be a completely black uh, image, anything that deviates from that is inherent noise. And you can, in some pretty fancy uh, astrophotography software, you can remove that noise from your final resulting image. So that is what is going on down there. So yeah, um, the imaging camera is a Nikon D5300, and that would have connected right in there. It was connected in there about three minutes ago. So uh, you got jumble of wires and all that kind of stuff that I'm going to start bringing inside. So as I always say, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you guys are liking these kinds of videos because I'm going to keep making them. I love bees, but I also love astronomy and astrophotography and lots of other uh, areas of science that I'd love to share with you guys. So let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, let me know if you've got a scope or if you have any questions about astrophotography because I would love to chat about it. So thanks for watching. Get out there and look up and... Uh, have some fun with your bees. I don't know. I've got to figure out a way to close these videos out. But have a good night. See ya.